Welcome to another video. So, Claude just launched their desktop app, and now OpenAI has launched their search feature for everyone, including free users. This is the same search GPT thing they had waitlisted earlier and is now being rolled out. If you signed up for the search GPT waitlist, then you'll get access immediately, even if you're a free user. Otherwise, it will take a little longer as it's currently being rolled out. I have access to it now, which I'll show in a bit. First of all, in the blog post, they say that ChatGPT can now search the web in a much better way than before. You can get fast, timely answers with links to relevant web sources, which you would have previously needed to go to a search engine for. This blends the benefits of a natural language interface with the value of up-to-date sports scores, news, stock quotes, and more. It will choose to search the web based on what you ask, or you can manually choose to search by clicking the web search icon. It will be available on the ChatGPT site along with desktop and mobile apps. All ChatGPT Plus and Team users, as well as SearchGPT waitlist users like me, will have access today. Enterprise and Ado users will get access in the next few weeks. We'll roll it out to all free users over the coming months. So, if you added yourself to the waitlist, then you'll get access for free, even if you're a free user. Otherwise, it will be rolled out to all free users in a bit. It also has widget-like features where it can show weather, stocks, sports, news, and maps. Now, let me also show it to you as well. So, as you can see, I'm here in the chat GPT interface, and I'm in the free tier, as you can see here. Now, since I was on the search GPT waitlist, I have access here. To use it, you can just hit the globe button here, and it will turn your chat interface into a web search tool. Now, you can see some suggestions here as well. Let's ask it for something recent, which is about the Claude Computer Use API launch. So, if I ask it here, you can see it shows an animation, like it's searching, which is pretty good. And here you can see, we get the result as well. This result is pretty good, and we also get the citations and sources as well. If I click the sources, you can see every search result and the citations it used. It can also search for images. So, for example, if I ask it to tell me about Bill Gates, then you'll see that it searches the web over here, and we also get the images here as well. Plus, it can also show weather, stocks, and everything as well. So, let's ask it for NVIDIA's stock price. Okay, it's searching. If we wait a bit, then you can see we get the stock info as well over here. This is just amazing. I almost daily use the free chat GPT interface, and this just makes it so much better. It's just awesome. It's good to see that chat GPT is rolling out such features for free, while Claude is struggling to keep up even with people who pay for their subscriptions. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.